Hello and welcome to STEMtastic 2015, a day of discovery, where it truly is a day of discovery for us here at Lee Schools TV. Today we're going to hear from some local scientists and their awesome experiments. So let's check it out. Good morning and welcome to the STEMtastic Day of Discovery. I'm here with Marshall Bauer, the President and CEO of the Foundation for the Lee County Public Schools. Marshall, tell me a little bit about what's going on here today. Today we have people from all of the schools, students and teachers and other educators, as well as from other community organizations, setting up hands-on exhibits so our students and their families will understand by doing things how important it is for them to understand science, technology, engineering, and math is the career opportunities of the future. Right, so how long have, uh, have you guys been doing this? This is our fourth year. We started out the Lee County Public Education Center. This year we're partnering with the Edison Festival of Light um, because for a couple reasons. One, we needed a bigger venue, and two, um, it celebrates our probably greatest scientist and inventor in this country, Thomas Edison. Right, so you said you needed a bigger venue. Uh, how many people are you expecting come today? We're hoping well over 3,000. All right, and uh, do you know how many booths are, are around here today? Over 120 booths set up. Over 120 booths. That's very interesting. Thank you so much, Marshall Bauer. We're here at STEMtastic Day of Discovery 2015. Let's go see what's going on. Hello, we're here at STEMtastic Day of Discovery. We're here with Mariner High School, and this is Robert. Robert, tell me about uh, what you're doing here today. Hi, today we built a thing known as a quadcopter, commonly known as a drone. We laser cut the uh, chassis ourselves, and then we bought components, added them on, and soldered it all up. All right, and you were part of the uh, engineering program at? That's right, I'm part of robotics. This was built through robotics, but I'm also part of the engineering program at Mariner High. All right, so how long have you been in there? Uh, I've been in it, well, I'm a sophomore now, so about two years, and we do uh, FTC robotics as well. Wow, so you got in there right in your first year, in your freshman year? Right, there's a lot of opportunity for freshmen. Any year, everybody just kind of comes in, meet there, build robots and all sorts. All right, so um, tell me a little bit more about, uh, about your robot. What's it called? It's called a, well, we haven't named it yet, I guess. But yeah, as I said, it's called a quadcopter. It also has a live video feed, so we can watch it from a pair of glasses, which have like a uh, screen inside them, or just any monitor we want. Wow, that's, that's really interesting. So um, how are you feeling so far today at the uh, STEMtastic event? It's an awesome day. It's finally kind of nice to go somewhere where there's so much STEM stuff all in one place, engineering, math, technology. Great day. All right, that's great to hear. Thank you for talking with me today, Robert. We're here at STEMtastic Day of Discovery. I'm here with Maya. Maya, tell me a little bit about what you're doing here today. Well, I'm at the Gulf Stand, and we are working with circuits and electricity. So a circuit is a complete circle of electricity that completes and will make a sound with this computer. So if you touch this end and touch a banana, it will complete the circuit, make a circle, and it is all connected to the computer and will go to this website and make the sound of a piano. So, and if I touch your hand, because you're holding that, it'll still make a sound because it's a circle. Wow. Okay, I see. That's, that's really interesting. So do you mind if I try it myself? I don't mind at all. All right, here we go. And you said if I touch the two bananas together? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was working. Right, that's it. So I could, I could play a little song if I wanted to. So. Thank you very much, Maya. You're welcome. Thank you for talking to me today. We are at STEMtastic Day of Discovery. Here we go. Watch out for roaming robots. Do not run them over, Jenna. We're here at STEMtastic Day of Discovery 2015 with the one and only Superintendent, Dr. Nancy Graham. Dr. Graham, tell me a little bit about what's going on today. Well, what's going on today is a whole lot of science, technology, engineering, and math activities. Our teachers are here, our students are here showing us how it's done, and hopefully people from the community are here to see what STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math is all about. It really is a day of discovery. That's excellent, um, that's, that's great. So can you tell me about uh, why is it important for our students to be exposed to this and uh, exposed to STEM? Well, the way the world is going globally, many, many of the jobs and careers that our students are going to be exposed to and have an opportunity to enter are related to STEM. And right now across the country, only 16% of the students are moving into a STEM 
occupation. And so we're trying to let our students know, here are jobs waiting for you if you have these skills and this background knowledge. That's very interesting. Thank you so much, Dr. Grimm. Thank you. Thank Glad you for your here. time. Uh -huh. We're here with STEMtastic, Day of Discovery 2015. We're here at STEMtastic Day of Discovery. We're here with uh, Ms. Thum, and we're at Cypress Lake High School. Um, Ms. Thum, tell me a little bit about what's going on here. They're building uh, toothpick towers, and so they're putting together the marshmallows and toothpicks so that they can form uh, towers. Okay, they're trying to get some depth, three-dimensional figures, and to see which uh, shapes would make a stronger structure. Okay, so we have, what's your name? Michael. There's Michael. Michael's working at it right now. He's getting some height out of the structure, so um, this is what we're trying to show them how to do here. So they can get something. We've got some uh, examples here, but they seem to be doing pretty good on their own. They're trying to come up with something more imaginative here. So. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, so as you guys can see, I have uh, made a triangle marshmallow architecture. Um, and uh, but I mean, this is pretty good. You can see the you can see some other students um, and the structures that they've made themselves. Um, so, uh, what what age group do you think uh, has been doing most of these here? Um, we had as young as two uh, on up to middle school, middle school grades. So that have been working at it. So. All right. Thank you very much, Miss Thum. We're here at STEMtastic Day of Discovery. I'm in the engineering department with Brandon. Brandon, tell me a little bit about what you're here to do today. Well, we're here to present the 3D printers and talk about our program. Uh, with the 3D printers, we've actually been able to print lots of stuff for our projects. Um, right now, we are printing keychains in the shape of hearts to celebrate Valentine's Day. Uh, as you see, we're printing quite a lot off, and we're letting the kids take one, having pretty fun with it. So, um, so could you tell me uh, what these what these are made of here? Um, they are made out of. Uh, I've got the exact word for it. Um, they're basically made out of plastic. Okay. Yeah, and we are actually building an extruder, and that's going to be able to take car bumpers and other waste plastics and turn it back into our things and be able to use it in future projects. Awesome. So, uh, so Brendan, do you have anything here today that you've made on this 3D printer? Uh, our Vortex tube. What happens with it is um, we put compressed air, and we basically make a hurricane inside the tube. Okay. The compressed air goes in, circulates, and it shoots out hot air and cold air through the principle of convection and high and low pressure. Wow, that is very interesting. Uh, thank you for talking with me today, Brandon. And you're from Dunbar High School. Dunbar High School. We're here at STEMtastic Day of Discovery 2015. Wow, that was awesome. We met some really great students who put on some really cool exhibits. I can definitely see why this is one of Lee County School District's most fantastic events. This has been Vince Marcucci with Lee Schools TV. See you next time.